Welcome to a brand new iOS setup video. And boy, oh boy, am I incredibly excited to showcase today's setup because it contains a whole bunch of goodies that make this probably the best and certainly one of the cleanest setups that I've ever made for iOS. We've got a brand new interactive widget at the top here, complete with amazing paginated based animations. We've got a brand new icon pack, a huge selection of wallpapers that do hide the dock. The whole thing can change automatically to show a light or dark theme if you like. We've got a new technique that essentially lets you create custom folder icons. And then there's my favorite new addition of the lot, a brand new app that we've actually custom made ourselves that makes setting up your icons an absolute breeze. And as you can see, the whole thing has a very Vision OS look to it, which was absolutely intentional because it's a look I'm loving at the moment. But with all that being said, grab a drink, sit back, and let's get customizing. So let's start with the wallpapers. And for this setup, I'm actually gonna be using wallpapers from my very own app, Lumina Walls. And a lot of people don't actually know that we created an iOS version, gee, probably about six months ago now. So if you didn't already know that, now you do. But then on top of that, a few months back, we actually created a dedicated collection in Lumina Walls that is filled with wallpapers designed to hide the dock with iOS 18. Now I stipulate iOS 18 because at the time making this video, that's the latest software that they've been tested with. And normally I wouldn't even bother mentioning this because the iOS dock hasn't been changed in years, but I have been seeing a few leaks of iOS 19 lately, a lot of which seem to indicate that the dock might be getting a redesign. And if that's the case, then not only will any wallpaper that I've ever designed to hide the dock over the past four or five years stop working, but I don't think there'll actually be any workaround to hide the dock anymore unless Apple implements a way for us to do it natively. So as such, this may very well be the last setup that I make that features a hidden dock. And honestly, if that does end up happening, then I'll be a pretty sad man. Anyhow, that's for future Sam to figure out. But for the time being, as I said, all of the wallpapers in this collection do hide the dock with iOS 18. And essentially any wallpaper that has a whitish section at the bottom, like this one here, that'll hide the dock when you have your system dark theme disabled. And any wallpaper that has a dark gray section at the bottom, that'll hide the dock when your system dark theme is enabled. So just keep that in mind. For this setup, I'm actually gonna be using these two gradient style wallpapers. This first one is called Hide the Dock 62, which is for our light theme. So I'll go ahead and download that. And then the second one is called Hide the Dock 63, and it's for our dark theme. So I'll also go ahead and download that. Then I'm gonna to come to my lock screen here, long press, then tap the blue plus icon. Then I'll tap photos and select my recently saved light wallpaper. I'll tap add, then customize home screen. Then I'll just tap to disable this blur option and tap on done. Then I'm gonna tap and swipe to unlock. Then I'm gonna long press, tap on edit, then customize and set this to large. And there we go. The first element of our home screen is done and our dock has been successfully hidden. While we're here, we're gonna to come to our lock screen again, long press, tap the blue plus button, tap on photos, select our dark gradient wallpaper this time and tap on add. We'll tap customize home screen and again, uncheck this blur option here. We'll tap done, then swipe to unlock, long press, tap on edit, then customize, and we'll again switch this option here to large. Now, obviously our dock isn't hidden anymore because our system dark theme is not enabled, but we'll come back to that in a bit. Then while we're here, we're gonna long press our home screen and swipe over to a blank page like so, then capture a screenshot, which we'll use a little later on. Then we're just gonna come to our lock screen one more time, long press, then swipe back to our light wallpaper, tap to select it, unlock the phone, and there we go. From there, we wanna now clear our home screen of any pre-existing app icons or widgets. And the quickest way to do this is to long press, then tap the dots down here and uncheck all but one page. Then if you tap the remaining page, you can just select one of your icons and drag it to a blank page like so, then tap the dots again and uncheck that first page, then select the remaining page with one icon and just simply remove the remaining icon. And there we go. We've got a completely blank page ready for us to build upon. The first thing I'm gonna do is capture another screenshot, which again, we're gonna use in a minute or so. But from there, we now get to add that incredible Widgie widget. And I just need you guys to go and check out the Reddit creator who made the original version of this widget. I've linked them below, because honestly, this is one of the best widgets that I've ever come across. And this creator has actually made a number of amazing Vision OS inspired widgets, all of which are actually free, and all of which usually have some form of interactivity about them with animations built in. So you've just absolutely got to check them out. But with that in mind, let's open up the Widgie app, make sure we're on this create page and then tap on import. 
Now, the last few times I've tried to place a Ouija QR code on screen in a video, it hasn't worked. So instead, I've just shared it as a Ouija URL, which I've placed in the description. And with that copied, all we need to do is tap the import URL or JSON button here, paste the URL like so, then tap go, and there we are. Now we'll come home and long press, then we'll tap edit, then tap add widget. And we're just gonna search for the Widgie app like so, then swipe over until we get to a large widget and tap to add it to our home screen. We can then hit done and now we can tap that blank widget and select our recently imported widget. The Widgie app will then ask us to set up the wallpapers so that the transparent effect works. So we'll tap here to add our light wallpaper screenshot and select it. Then we'll tap here and select our dark wallpaper screenshot. Then we'll tap this tick icon, then tap this tick here to maintain that position. And just like that, our widget is set up. And as you can see, as mentioned, it is a fully interactive widget. I can tap these tab buttons up the top to switch between pages. And I can even tap on various elements to jump straight into corresponding applications. It's just such a cool way to add extra functionality to a home screen setup. And I'm baffled at just how good of a job the creator did in setting this up. All right, from there we have the icons. And once I decided that I wanted to emulate the Vision OS aesthetic, I actually got my team to create a completely new icon pack just for the purposes of this setup, which is called, as you might've guessed, the Vision OS icon pack. We're launching the pack with over 200 icons, all of which have been created completely from scratch. And guys, just trust me when I say, this pack looks freaking amazing. Of course, you can use any icon pack that you like, but either way, once the pack is downloaded onto your device, we then need to get them set up. Now I've shown off several ways to set up custom icons in years gone by, but the issue is pretty much all of them stopped getting properly updated from iOS 18 onwards. And so what do you do when the apps that you used to use no longer work? You create your own, of course. And so that's exactly what my development team and I did. And so it brings me great pleasure to introduce our brand new iOS app called Clear Icons. And after years of creating custom icons using third-party apps, we essentially tried to take all of the best bits about those apps whilst adding in our own tweaks to hopefully make the best version of this type of app ever made. So let's walk through it because it's dead simple. With the app open, you just tap here, then we wanna select our light mode screenshot and there we go. Then we'll toggle this large icons option here, then tap here to import our icons and select from files. Then you just wanna browse to wherever your icon pack is stored on your phone, which for me is in this on my iPhone section. And I've got my folder of icons ready to go down here so I can just tap to open it. From there, you'll notice two folders for our icons, one for icons with drop shadows and one for icons without. And obviously have a little experiment with both options if you like. But for this setup, I'm gonna be using the with shadow icons. So we'll open that folder and I've got the icons that I wanna use ready to go, which just keeps things efficient for later on and I'm just gonna select them all like so, then tap open, and there we go. And that was one of the key features that I wanted to make sure that our app supported, importing and exporting multiple icons in one go. From there, we can long press to enter jiggle mode, and now we can reposition each of our icons as we need, which can take a minute depending on how many icons you wanna set up, which for me is not too long given I only have eight custom icons, but once complete, all we need to do is tap here where it says export icons, and there we go. Now we can tap on open shortcuts, and from there, it's just a matter of going through the usual shortcut setup process, which I've covered in detail in tons of videos in the past. And just for reference, I'll open one of my previously created shortcuts, and as you can see, it literally just contains an open app action for the app of my choosing. And quick tip, if you're using a phone without a dynamic island, like the iPhone 16e, for example, if you wanna stop those annoying shortcut banners that show every time you launch a custom icon, then just search for the action called nothing, and add it, then drag it above the open app action and that will stop it flat in its tracks. I'm gonna remove that though for this example as I'm using the iPhone 16 Pro, but then from there, I just need to tap this little drop down arrow, then tap add to home screen, then select this option here, then tap choose photo and select the matching icon we just exported, which is this one here. I'll tap choose, then add, and there we go. Our custom icon has been added and you just need to repeat this process for your remaining icons. And once you have, it should look something like this. Now you'll notice that I've still got space for one more icon to be added. And this is actually because I'm gonna use it to create what is essentially a folder of apps with a custom folder icon. Now it's not a traditional iOS folder, so don't expect that, but it's just about the next best thing. So 
So I've left a link to a shortcut down in the description called choose from menu, which you just need to import. And just an FYI, this has been set up for me and the apps and shortcuts that I want access to. So you'll need to tweak it to suit your preferences. But as you can see, you've got a list of essentially headings up here and you can delete these as necessary, but then you can also add as many new headings as you like. So let's add one called shortcuts, for example. And as soon as you finish typing your heading and tap done, a new option gets added down the bottom here and we can just add a new open app action like so. Drag that below the shortcuts heading, tap on app and search for and select the shortcuts app. Repeat that for any other items that you wanna add, but now we just need to tap this drop down arrow, then add to home screen. Again, select this option here, then tap choose photo. And finally, select your last app icon, tap choose and then add. And check this out, all of our apps work beautifully as expected. And when we tap that final app icon, we get that list of shortcuts that we set up and I can tap on any of them and they will launch exactly as they would as though it was a proper folder. So again, it may not look like a traditional folder of apps, but it absolutely functions like one. And so that's the light mode version of the setup complete, but we obviously still need to make our dark theme version, which essentially involves repeating most of that process, but using the dark wallpaper instead. And because the process is so similar, I'm just gonna give you a bit of an abbreviated version instead. So we'll come to our lock screen customization settings, then we'll switch to our dark wallpaper, we'll unlock the phone, then we'll long press, tap on edit, then add widget. Then we need to search for widget and swipe over to add that same large widget like so. We'll now swipe over to the new page that was created. Then we can come back into the clear icons app. And here's a neat little feature that we added. If we just tap the plus icon down here, you'll notice that there's this replace wallpaper option. And we can just tap that, then swipe down and select our dark wallpaper screenshot that we captured earlier. And when you take a look at that, we don't need to re-add our icons or anything. They're just ready to be exported right away. So we'll tap to export, then tap to open the shortcuts app. And from there, we just need to repeat the process of creating our custom shortcut icons using the various shortcuts that we've already got set up. And of course that includes our custom folder shortcut too. But as always, I'm not gonna make you watch me do that entire thing again. So through the magic of editing, there we go. So there's our dark mode page created, but now we actually need to long press again, then tap the dots down here. And we're actually gonna uncheck that dark mode page, hit done then all we need to do is come into our settings, then come down to this focus mode section, tap to open it and tap to create a new focus mode. We'll tap custom, then I'm gonna call mine dark and I'm also gonna select a custom icon just for fun, but you can obviously leave yours as is if you like. Then I'll tap next, then customize focus. And I'll just come down to this customize screen section and I'll first tap to choose my dark mode lock screen, which is this one here. Then I'll tap done and then tap to choose my home screen, which is this one at the bottom here. And then I'll hit done again. Then I'll come down to the schedule section and tap to add a schedule. I'll tap on time. Then I'm gonna set mine to come on at 8 p.m. and then get it to turn off at 8 a.m. And then I'll hit done, then come down to this filters section tap to add a filter and I'm gonna select this dark mode option here, leave it set to dark and tap add. You'll notice that our system dark theme immediately becomes activated because it's linked to the focus mode, which is now enabled because we had that dark mode wallpaper selected via the lock screen. So we'll lock our phone and long press, then we'll switch back to our light theme wallpaper, which disables that focus mode. And that's it. We can now unlock our phone and our light theme is set. And then check this out, if I tap the phone icon here and tap this change theme shortcut, our dark mode theme becomes activated and it of course works the other way around too. Obviously your theme will automatically change according to the time-based schedule that we've just set up. But if you want this change theme shortcut, then I'll link that below as well. Although just keep in mind that you may need to update it if your focus mode has a different name to mine. But with that done, our beautiful custom home screen setup is now complete. And so there you have it. That is your guide to creating a phenomenal home screen setup for your iPhone. As I said, links to everything mentioned throughout the video have been included down in the description. And if you have any questions, definitely feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to hit you up with a response. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.